In the dead of the night, as the last of the fallen rain caressed the city streets, Karma donned her mask. Outfitted with ocular photoreceptor nanoparticles, it gave her infrared sight, allowing her to see in the darkness. The power suit rested comfortably on her upper torso, giving her a sense of security as she prowled the city streets. With GPS coordinates in the palm of her hand, she walked with purpose. A clandestine meeting awaited her. Earlier that evening, when Joe and Mackie were no longer at the office, Silky Butter set up a sting to catch a killer. Using Cinnamon's intel, Silky sent out a message through the same back channels, requiring a meeting. The response came immediately, almost as if the killer expected her. Usually, that mental warfare would have Silky concerned. But what she lacked in experience, she replaced with determination. Slipping into the character of Karma gave her the courage to follow through with her solo mission. The meeting was to take place at the edge of Laurel Canyon, right before the entrance to the hiking path. Karma wasn't about to take the bait and stand there like willing prey. Instead, she waited across the street, keeping a visual on all access points to the location. Sitting on her haunches, she needed to shift several times as the night ticked on. No one showed. She wondered if she'd misread the information and had come to the wrong location. Frustrated with the turn of events, she stood to stretch out her legs before circling around to a more distinct vantage point. As soon as she rose to her feet, she felt a sudden prick in the side of her neck, followed by searing pain radiating through the muscle tissue. Her hand reached up to the wound where she found two small punctures within her skin. At first, she wondered if encroaching on their territory had resulted in an insect attack. But she knew of no sting that would have her feeling the dizziness she was experiencing. Everything around her blurred, making the ocular photoreceptors useless. But where the eyes failed her, the ears picked up the slack. Staggering out from behind the trees, she heard the distinct thump of footsteps on the pavement. They grew closer and closer until she felt the breath of her assailant just paces from her. Off instinct, Karma threw her hands up in front of her and blasted out the light charged from her palm. She heard a loud grunt as she made contact with the assailant. Groggy and still unable to see, Karma knew she needed to put distance between her and whoever was now stalking her.